Good morning. Welcome to your 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. We have some cloudy conditions across the region this morning. Seeing temperatures rise from the 30s into the lower 50s as of 10 a.m. this morning, up to 52 degrees currently. You know, see temperatures in the mid 50s today. And we'll actually see temperatures rise overnight near midnight into lower 60s with some rain showers and even a slight chance of a thunderstorm for the overnight hours. Looks like those rain shower chances will come into play today by late afternoon, and especially during the evening hours uh, with some moderate rainfall possible. Taking a look at our current sounding from this morning, freezing level at 10,500 feet. Winds out of the northeast and light in the low levels and becoming more south westerly in the mid levels and increasing with height and then finally out of the west southwest and up to 31 knots at 25,000 feet. We are seeing a peak wind just below that out of the uh, southwest at 40 knots at 20,000 feet. Our current surface analysis, we have an area of rainfall currently across the Ohio Valley into the southeast states, an area of low pressure just off the Gulf Coast that's going to be making its way through our area tonight that's going to give us our chances of rainfall. We also have some much colder air uh, north and west of this area, low pressure across the Great Lakes into the upper Midwest. That's providing those areas with some snow showers this morning. Uh, not going to see any snow across our region, but uh, just some rain showers moving through. But this cold air will be evicting into the region uh, for later this week and seeing some uh, below normal temperatures uh, for much of the week. So taking a look at our satellite imagery this morning, you can see we do have a good amount of cirrus cloudiness across the region with a little bit of uh, cloud cover around 7,000 feet as well. Uh, so we're going to continue to see these clouds move in the region. Our ceilings will lower throughout the day and we'll see the rain showers by the late afternoon. Taking a look at the herd model for today, you can see here the rain shower starting to approach the region. This is at 1 p.m. or 1300 local and then it does bring a brief rain shower through around 1400 local today but looks like that's only a slight chance of occurring. Best chance of rainfall comes after about 1800 local or 6 p.m. this evening and that will continue through the early overnight hours with even a chance of a thunderstorm around midnight. Here's the her showing some Heavier showers move through the region, slight chance of an embedded thunderstorm in these heavier showers across the region. We'll also see some slightly breezy winds out of the southeast to south-southeast once this low moves to the region around midnight tonight. Then we should see things clear out as far as rain and thunderstorm-wise overnight and uh, going to see just some dry conditions for tomorrow. We'll see cloud coverage in the morning, possibly a uh, low-level low cloud cover, but uh, should move out uh, fairly quickly during the morning hours. and seeing anywhere from partly to mostly cloudy skies for our Wednesday. Looking at the European model for the next few days here, uh, Wednesday evening here, uh, you can see upper level trough across the Great Lakes, colder air moving the region, and that will be the case for Thursday into Friday and continuing in the weekend with a uh, area low pressure well off our coast for Saturday into Sunday. Uh, we'll still continue to see high pressure in control of our weather pattern for the weekend, uh, cooler conditions to cold conditions across the region especially it looks like we move into early next week. could be the coldest day we've had since uh, last winter uh, with uh, temperatures only reaching into the uh, upper, excuse me, lower 40s uh, for highs for possibly early next week. So looking at our risk chart for today, we'll see those uh, northeasterly winds to easterly winds uh, this morning in the afternoon. Uh, fairly light, only gusting up to 17 knots with a Sustained wind from 7 to 12 knots. We'll see a high this afternoon around 55. Then temperatures actually rising uh, during the evening hours and seeing uh, temperatures in the lower 60s around midnight with that uh, area low pressure moving through. Southeasterly winds gusting to 23 knots possible with that uh, low moving through as well. And then we'll see temperatures quickly fall after we have that area low pressure move north and east of our region down to 49 degrees as of 8 local expected tomorrow morning. We'll also see some slightly breezy northwesterly winds gusting up to 20 knots as well. As far as the rain shower chances go, we'll have red condition uh, from 1600 local through 4 local uh, today into tomorrow. And we'll also have a 20% chance of a thunderstorm from 2200 local uh, tonight into 2 local Wednesday morning. We'll see uh, those slight chances of winds up to 25 knots with a gust of 23 knots. And we'll see low clouds in here, especially once that... Uh, Area low pressure moves north and east of our region. Uh, with the lighter northwesterly winds, we'll see some low clouds in the region. So for our 24-hour terminal forecast, we're going to see uh, 
Ceilings lower down to six to 7,000 feet this afternoon and continue to lower, especially once we see those rain showers in the region, down to 2,000 feet by 1,800 local. And then we'll see uh, lower level cloud cover move in around 500, possibly down to 400 feet with any of the rain showers. A slight chance we do see a heavier rain shower and a slight chance we see a thunderstorm uh, from that 2,200 to two local time frame. Once we move tomorrow morning, we'll see those low clouds start to erode a broken deck around 800 feet as well as 6,000 and an overcast deck of 25,000 feet. So uh, once we move past Wednesday 8 local, we'll really see those uh, low-level clouds move out and uh, seeing some sunshine for uh, Wednesday afternoon. Our tides are currently running normal, looking at Wednesday and Thursday. Good weather overall. Uh, slight chance of some uh, morning low clouds Wednesday. Otherwise, partly to mostly sunny, slightly breezy, high 58 Wednesday night, partly cloudy and cool or low 40. And for Thursday, partly cloudy. To most of the sunny and slightly breezy, a high of 48 degrees, we'll see a yellow condition for our winds near 25 knots on Thursday, but that high of only 48 degrees, uh, quite chilly for this time of year. And then looking at the next uh, seven days, seeing those temperatures uh, just around seasonable average for today and tomorrow, and then below seasonable average by about 10 to 15 degrees from Thursday uh, through Monday of next week. And uh, seeing temperatures around 48 to 49 degrees for Thursday through Sunday. Should see temperatures uh, near freezing here at Wallops Friday morning and Saturday morning, and then should see a uh, fairly hard freeze on Monday morning, expecting a low around 29 degrees and only a high on Monday at 43 degrees. We'll also see some uh, breezy conditions from time to time through from Thursday through uh, Monday, expecting the breeziest conditions on Thursday and Sunday. Uh, but uh, with that colder air mass in here, we'll definitely feel more like winter than uh, the middle of fall for uh, Wallops for next week into the weekend. Well, that's going to complete our, our excuse me, 10 a.m. weather briefing. I hope everybody has a great day today. Back tomorrow morning, A15 at 10 a.m.